Well, an absolute humiliation in Italy, a crisis for democracy that has seen, of course, the Italian government previously uh, do a deal with Albania to try and stop illegal migration. Up to 36,000 people could have seen offshore processing in Albania per year. And the Italian Coast Guard did take some people from Bangladesh and Egypt to Albania. But of course, despite this being the plan of the elected Prime Minister of Italy, Giorgia Maloney, you saw the intervention, the primacy of European Union law, and indeed those individuals who were taken to Albania actually returned to Italy. And so you've got this insane situation where Giorgia Maloney put forward this plan to try and stop illegal migration. Of course, she's been praised by both Rishi Sunak and by Keir Starmer when it comes to her approach to stopping the boats and stopping illegal migration. And yet she finds her power and the Italian government's power basically curtailed by this intervention now having to wait on the judgment of an EU court. So as Maloney was praised across the European Union, including by uh, Ursula von der Leyen, that plan to send people for offshore processing to Albania, and then if their asylum claims weren't accepted, they would then be taken back. You've seen that plan falling foul of a decision by the EU's Court of Justice. And so a pretty humiliating withdrawal is underway. Italy now withdrawing staff from these Albania offshore asylum centres. You're seeing Italian police, social workers leaving Albania. And all because the elected Prime Minister of Italy, the government of Italy, it seems, not actually allowed to determine which countries are safe enough to send people back to because of a European Court of Justice ruling. As I said, I think this shows you the shocking state of democracy inside the European Union. And by the way, the solution is to leave both the EU and the ECHR as well. Do let me know what you make of all of that in the comments below though, please guys. Do please head over to my substack over at heva.news to stay in touch and read all of my articles. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.